Math Time with Ms. Hartzell, Module 7, Lesson 14. I can measure objects by using iteration with a physical unit called an inch. Hey friends, you are amazing. So many of you did your online Show Me What You Know yesterday, and I am so proud of you. Today we're gonna start learning about a new topic in Module 7. And this topic is about measurement, okay? So at the beginning of the year, we learned about the metric unit of measurement using centimeters or meters. Today and for the next few days, we are going to be learning about the customary measure of unit of measurement that we use in the United States. This type of measurement you're probably familiar with, and you definitely heard about it in first grade and in kindergarten. So we're just gonna keep working on those skills and making them better. So today, I just wanna give you a warning. If you have a quarter at home, a quarter is gonna help you with measuring. Normally when we do this lesson, we use inch tiles to help us understand the unit of an inch. But unfortunately, I can't send inch tiles to all of my second grade friends. But a quarter is actually also an inch. So we have to use the diameter of a quarter. So if your parents are okay with it, I hope that they are, please get a quarter so that you can do your work today. And we're gonna talk about what diameter is. Some of you may not know and that's okay. During our pause and think, we are going to look at an image of diameter so that you can start getting those brains thinking about how you can use this quarter, the diameter of this quarter, to help you measure some objects in your house. Stay tuned for that pause and think. Since it is hard for Ms. Hartzell to share tools with you during our remote learning, we are going to be using a quarter to help us measure objects in our house today. But we're using a very specific part of the quarter. We are going to be using the diameter of the quarter. And you may not know what diameter means. So take a look at this image of the circle, the dot, and the red line. This picture is showing diameter. So pause and think for a moment. What do you think diameter is? Look at this photo and think. When you're finished thinking, press play. All right, so before we get uh, dive deeper into our learning target today, we do need to talk about the word diameter. So in that previous slide, um, during your pause and think, you saw an image of, a, of diameter. You saw a circle and you saw a dot in the center of the circle. And then you saw a line that went from one side of the circle through the center of the circle to the other side. That red line that you saw is diameter. Diameter measures one side of a circle through the center to the other side. And this is why we need to understand diameter today because you are going to be using a quarter to measure inches. The diameter of a quarter is exactly one inch. So when you look at a quarter and you start from one end of the quarter and you go straight through the center to the other side, that amount of space is one inch. So today you have the target of using iteration and measuring objects using an inch. So this quarter is gonna help you do that work. So if you have not found a quarter yet, please make sure you do that because you will need this to do your work today. So let's talk about inches and iteration. So long time ago, you learned about the metric unit of measurement. We learned about centimeters. This grain of rice represents one centimeter. 
starting from one end of this grain of rice and to the other end, that amount of space that this little grain takes up is one centimeter. This quarter, as we've already talked about, takes up one inch of space. And that's what measurement is all about. Measurement is about knowing how much space an object takes up based on its length, its width, or its height, based on different dimensions. So usually, you will measure one dimension at a time. Today, we'll be talking a lot about length. And length, whenever you're looking at an object, length describes the longest part, the longest space or distance in that object. So for this marker, the length would be from the cap, the tip of the cap, to the end of the marker. If I wanted to measure the length of this index card, I will find the longest amount of space and I would measure that for length, okay? So how do we use iteration? How do we use iteration? How do we use iteration? What is iteration? It is the repetitive process of using the same unit over and over and over again. That's why I just repeated the question several times, because that's what iteration is all about. It's repeating the same size over and over and over and over again. We use iteration for measurement because we want to use the same physical unit to measure items. This is important because if we go to the store and we're trying to buy some wood to create a birdhouse or a garden or whatever it is that we might be building, when we ask the people for help, we want to be able to give them the measurements using the same unit. Because if we ask them for a piece of wood that is one centimeter and five inches long, they may not be able to help us. So when we are measuring, that's really important. You have to use the same type of measurement, the same unit over and over again. So today we are looking at an inch. Now it's pretty easy when you have multiple objects that are the same. Like I right now I have five quarters that I can line up. And if you have multiple quarters, use them, that's okay. But if you don't, if you only have one quarter, I'm gonna show you how you can do your work today. So let's go back to looking at that marker. This is how I can, this is how I will use iteration by only having one example of a unit, of an inch unit. So here I will be very, very careful because when we measure, it's important for us to be precise. So this makes a difference when you are creating things or you are measuring things. Precision is important. As you know, when you are measuring an object, you do your best to start at one end of the object. And you do your best to line up your unit. Once you have done that, you can place your finger on the other side of the unit and then move it over. Now I've realized that this marker is at least two inches long, but I have more distance to measure. So I'm going to continue using iteration. I'm repeating this unit over and over again by marking where this quarter ended and moving it over. I'm going to keep doing this until I reach the other end of the marker. So, so far that's been three inches. Moving it over again, four inches, five, six, 
and not quite seven. And you'll find that that happens sometimes. If you're, the amount that you're measuring, if it's not exactly an inch, then you have to do your best in figuring out what the correct answer would be. In this case, when I got to six, my quarter was about right here, really close to the end. And when I tried to add that last unit of measurement, it did not cover half of this quarter. So I would say that this marker is about six inches long, not seven inches. Because when I lined up my quarters and I used iteration, six quarters covered most of the distance of this marker. And that last movement that I did, it only covered like a little bit of the end. So the best estimate for this measurement would be six inches long. Okay, and we'll talk about that again. I'll review that in a, in a moment. So when you're measuring today, that is what I want you to do. You're gonna take your quarter, you're going to start at one end of the object, and you're going to measure the distance between the beginning of the object and the end of the object. You're gonna do your best to precisely mark where the inch ended and then move your object over, your unit, excuse me. And then you're going to mark what that unit ended and you're gonna move it over again. And you're gonna keep doing that work until you have reached the other end of the object. And if it's not quite perfect, then you need to make a decision. If it is not halfway between an inch to the next inch, then you're gonna stick with what mostly the object covered. If this last measurement is getting, is close to the next inch, then you can use that next inch, okay? So measurement, again, is all about distance from one end of an object to the other end. We wanna use the same unit to measure so that we can have an accurate and precise measurement of our objects. During your daily practice today, you will be measuring some objects in your house. And on your exit ticket, you will also be answering some questions about measurement. So please use this information to help you do that work accurately and try to remember what you've learned about measurement. Tomorrow, we will talk about a tool that is much easier to use than just using iteration and moving the object over and over and over again. But today, I really do think it's valuable to use this inch quarter, the diameter of this quarter, to measure and really understand that's what measurement's about. Because if I don't use the quarter, if I don't start using it, then I am not going to be able to measure my object. The moment I take that quarter and I start to measure, now this marker I realize is taken, has one inch right here. Okay, so do your best today. 